previously on Getting Dicey. I'd like to check this potential room out before we head any further and, and disturb any more of these horrible things. There's a wide alcove in that eastern wall uh, containing this painted wooden statue. In his right mm. hand, he's holding this smoky grey crystal orb and it's emanating a little bit of light. You should maybe give it a tap or a bit of a knock, <laughs> but don't yeah. touch it. Don't touch it. There's just enough light coming from this orb to cast long shadows. I can spot a trap from a mile off. That long shadow of yours, you're not 100% sure it matched your movements. I suggest we maybe uh, get out of here. Grab the bauble if you want, Hurricane. Loris, you reach forward and grab onto this orb and you just sort of nonchalantly just toss it over your shoulder towards Merican. And the moment it lands in Merican's hands, all of your shadows take form and separate themselves um, from the walls. Shadow. Um, you just feel yourself feeling quite sick with just its hand up against your chest. And you take 14 uh, points of necrotic damage. Your strength score is reduced by three. Yes, it's a hit. It does 11 necrotic damage, and you lose four points of strength. Those are both hits. You have taken 18 points of necrotic damage, and your strength score takes a hit of six points. 20 necrotic damage. What's your strength score at now? You're going to drop that by six. Five necrotic damage. Loses three to his strength score. 12 necrotic damage. Lose four points to oh, your strength God, score. It. You are in a dying state. I'm going to bust out a move that I haven't used since episode two, season one. Oh, I'm going to run. 